Hello, everybody, and we welcome you back to 2024 Sooner Athletic Conference Men's Basketball Media Day. I'm Jim Powers, Assistant Commissioner of the Sooner, and we're going to head down to Plainview, Texas, and we're going to visit with our friends at Wayland Baptist, their head coach, Clint Gallion, and also his outstanding uh, student athlete and basketball player, Quentin Coleman. And, and Quentin, let's start with you. Uh, thanks for joining us today. And Last year didn't end the way you all wanted it to end. It was something that I know you guys had a few more expectations to achieve. Has that really pushed you guys during the off season and when you've got the school and the preseason workouts as we get ready for the season? Yeah, uh, thank you for having me first and foremost. Uh, yeah, I mean we didn't we didn't have you know you know the season that we wanted to have. Uh, it was pretty obvious, you know. We felt like we underachieved. And I felt like we did a great job of, of recruiting. Coach get, did a great job of getting players in here with the right mindset. And we got we got a new model. It takes what it takes. And I feel like we really just been driving that that force, you know, home of it's going to take what it takes to win games, to be very good. And, you know, we've been having a great, you know, great uh, mindset and just having great workouts every single day, every every single practice, playing hard and guys with a great with a great attitude. Talk a little bit about your leadership, and you're one of a veteran group that's coming back this year for the Pioneers. Are you more of a vocal leader? Are you a lead-by-example type of guy, or do you kind of mix both and have to use your voice sometimes, but then do it another way another time? Yeah, um, I, I would probably say uh, in the past, I've really just been a guy that never been as vocal as I should be, just leading by example, but you know, this year I've been trying to mix in both, you know, lead by example and be you know, the type of guy that you know, still talk and motivate guys and just come in and just always bring the energy. You know, coach always says, you know, practice always has to be hard, you know, for the games. So I feel like I've been, you know, coming in, you know, with the right mindset, telling our guys, you know, we just got to we gotta play hard, we got to practice hard, and, you know, that's what I've been trying to do this year. So, Coach, let, look, before I let you talk about Quentin and some others, you're fortunate. You, not only you've got a big family connection, you know, on your team this year. You got your dad as your assistant coach and then your little brother as a freshman this year. How cool is that, that you can keep a lot of stuff in the family and have that connection with your dad sitting in the number two seat next to you and then your little brother playing? You know, it's really special, something that, uh, you know, we've always kind of talked about but didn't ever think that it would actually get to happen, um, especially both of them. You know, we thought maybe one – one or the other, um, but having all three of us here and then my mom, you know, living in town as well. Um, man, it's really special. Something that, you know, we try not to take for granted. Uh, we try to appreciate and, um, and it's just really unique having them here. Obviously, my little brother, you know, going to be a freshman, um, going to be able to just kind of develop. And, you know, his plan is, you know, be here for five years and, <laughs> and you know, work his way up, probably going to redshirt this year. And, kind of learn behind a bunch of our older guys. Um, you know, we only have, you know, it's, it's it's tough for those freshmen. We have two freshmen, one kid that's 20, about to be 21. Everybody else is over 21 of our 17 guys. And so we do have an older group. And then just being, a, being able to have my dad here uh, is special as well. well um, not only because, you know, he's been my mentor. I've looked up to him. He's a big reason why, you know, I'm coaching, but also just his experience. He's been a head coach for 40 years. Uh, four years at a at a JUCO and and thirty six years in, at the high school ranks and so, just what he's been able to mentor not just our players but our staff um, has has you know we've already seen growth from that from uh, just from last last couple of years. And talk a little bit about Quentin and what he's bringing to the table for you and your coaching staff and the rest of the team. You know, not only as a leader on the court, but in the locker room, in the classroom, he's got to be a guy that you're really leaning into pretty hard. No, absolutely. You know, and he came in a tough situation last year. You know, we got him eligible at the break. And so, you know, a lot of people don't realize he only played 21 games. Uh, but he was our, you know, he's our best player last year. Uh, led us in points, led us in, uh, in assists per game. Um, but, you know, it's hard for those guys to come in at the break. And, you know, even though he practiced all fall, he wasn't playing – it's hard for those guys to, you know, be vocal as, as much as you want them to, um, especially with him playing, you know, a lot of the, his minutes at the at the point guard position, we need him to be a vocal leader. And, you know, I challenged him this off season and this preseason and he's, man, he's, he's, he's met a head on. Uh, he's been great for us. Kind of like what he said. I, I feel like we have better guys here, better people that just want to be here at Wayland. Um, and so that's made practice more enjoyable. 
Um, but you're really only as good as as your players. And so, you know, a coach-led team can only go so far. And, uh, you know, we, we, we proved that last year, you know, getting knocked out in the first round of the national tournament. Uh, this year we've had a lot of players, not just Quentin, but, you know, some of our returners. It helps when you have more returners um, that have stepped up and, you know, told newcomers, man, this is our standards. This is what we do Mm -hmm. here. Um, This is, this is what we're trying to do and accomplish. Talk a little bit about this veteran group, you know, that's going to be alongside Quentin. And I know you've got some guys that, you know, talked to Quentin a moment ago, having a little bit of a bad taste in their mouth, how things ended last year. Talk a little bit about some of those guys and mention a few of those names we're going to see throughout the year. Yeah. So returners, obviously Quentin, um, Brett Leach started every game last year for us um, on the wing. You know, he's a returner. He'll be a junior. Um, Dylan McDougal started for for us every game the year before. Uh, had a medical redshirt last year, so we're looking forward to uh, having him back. And then uh, Jackson Reeser, man, he's, you know, this is his, I guess, his fifth year at Wayland, counting the COVID year. Um, man, and he every year he's been here, he just, he's found a way to, to be in the rotation and, and make an impact. Um, he just impacts winning, not always on the on the stat sheet, but just in and and just all the little things that he does and how tough he is. And then you know Manny Crump is back from you know he was with us two years ago. He's back uh, this year as well. And so um, and then I guess uh, Josh Tucker as well. You know he's a rotation piece for us. You know he's trying to kind of take the next step. And so having six six returners that know us, know me, know our program, knowing you know how we are and what we're trying to do has made it you know, really an easier process for our new guys to just come in and, you know, it's, you know, every, every place is different, good and bad. Mm-hmm. Um, and so it just, it's, it's been, it's been nice having those guys lead, lead our newcomers. And Quentin, it's it, with the system that coach has, it's gotta be valuable for you to have guys around you that, that have been there, but for you as the point guard, you know, it also opens a lot of things up, not only for you to get the ball to other people, but for them to get the ball to you and the score. Yes, sir. Yeah. Um, yeah, we had last year. I felt like the ball was, you know, in my hands a lot more. But what, you know, the guys that we got this year, you know, the ball doesn't have to be in my hands as much. Uh, last year, teams could just focus in on me and like try to take me out the game. But this year, I feel like we have a great group of guys that are willing, you know, to willing passers willing playmakers and you know we can just feed off of that feed off of each other and doesn't have to just be focusing on in on me you know we have other players that can contribute to to winning and and coach you look at your non-conference schedule it's not easy I mean you know I know you all get four non-cons before we get into the sooner and we'll talk about the sooner here in a second but when you you open up with our lady of the lake then you go to Kansas Wesleyan and play Bethel and Kansas Wesleyan. That's going to get you guys battle tested to open the sack comp- the sack season with Langston, you know, at home. Talk a little bit about your non conference schedule first. Absolutely, you know, uh, you know, NAI is kind of adjusted. I think for the better, uh, valuing, uh, you know, RPI and strength of schedule, and um, so you know, we've every team I think has to adjust. Of it's not just based off of politics and who's in the top twenty five. It's there's some real numbers involved in it. And so, you know, we wanted to go get uh, battle tested before our conference because anybody that's familiar with the SAC knows how good the SAC is. And, um, you know, Our Lady of the Lake has a new coach, Marcus Thompson. He was their assistant uh, the last couple of years. He does a great job recruiting. Um, his guys are going to play really hard for him. Um, they're, I think they're going to be competing in the Red River. And then, obviously, you talked about Kansas Wesley. We actually have a home-and-home home with them. We play them uh, at home Saturday after Thanksgiving. But, uh, you know, that first week of November, uh, we're there in, in their classic, play them in Bethel, who are both, you know, national tournament teams more times than not in the last five, six years. And so, um, man, we're, we're, we're looking forward to the challenge, but it is a challenge. And so, um, man, we've, we've had some great practices leading up to this. Uh, you know, this next week we have a scrimmage, and then, and then uh, the week after that, in 15 days, we open up with Our Lady of the Lake. So it'll be here before we know it. Yeah, without a doubt. And then the sooner, and I've said this, you guys have heard me say this. I think our conference is, you know, arguably one of the best men's basketball conferences in, in the nation. And mm-hmm. you look at top to bottom this year, every Thursday and Saturday night, it is going to be a heavyweight battle, you know, in our conference. And that's got to be a lot of fun. And, and also keep you up at night because of how deep our conference is this year. Yeah, it does. It does. Um, you know, and that's why, 
you know, that's a big reason why I originally came to Wayland from, uh, from Central Baptist College was because of the SAC, because of the, uh, the respect for it. Um, man, it, it is not fun battling that, but it gets you ready. And I think it gets our teams, you know, ready for the national tournament. And Quentin, for you, we know that the Sooner has some of the best players, not only in our time, but in the nation. How much fun is it for you to get ready to take on some of those outstanding players night in and night out, you know, that that are going to give you great competition? Yeah, I mean, there's just no doubt that, you know, the Sooner Athletic Conference has, you know, great players. And, you know, it's just it's just fun going out there competing. I mean, you just want to compete at a high level. Every single game is going to be you know, battle tested. Uh, you Even if you think, you know, some of these games that are easy, they're not as easy as you can make it seem, you know, you got to go in there with a, with a great mindset and just wanting to compete and play hard every single play. And for you guys, and I know when watching the live streams from last year and you play in front of incredible crowds, you know, week in and week out, night in and night out, it's got to be fun for you, Quentin, to be able to play in front of a community that really loves their your basketball program yeah i mean i mean this uh playing in texas i mean this is just a great great place to be um everybody's just welcoming uh you know we do we do our best you know trying to play in front of this crowd every single day to try to you know go one and know every single day at home you know i mean i feel like this year we're trying to make more strides in that area but i mean it's it's just fantastic to play in front of this crowd and we love it here and coach for you it's got to be so cool with with the support you get from the community and from the university for you it makes it easier and it also makes it a lot of fun to coach on game nights in front of that great crowd it does uh, you know it it shows on our, in our home record you know the last 3 years and uh we're doing something to even improve our student uh student attendance and so we're starting something that's unique uh it's called the blue crew and uh we are uh, we're getting eight student uh, student section leaders from different uh, programs on campus uh, to number one be the student section leaders to help, but also to help bring you know their teammates and everything. And so uh, you know we're getting that organized, and hopefully that gets our attendance even even higher. And so people know you know for us we're having to make road trips every every weekend when we're on the road. <laughs> For us, this is the farthest trip for everybody else. And so that that gives us, you know, even a more kind of home court advantage. Well, guys, I know it's a busy time of the preseason for you guys, especially for everybody in the basketball world. But I appreciate you all taking a little bit of time. And it's great to hear about your program. Quentin, it's great to meet you. I've seen you on video in the last part of last year. You guys are going to be a lot of fun to watch. So thank you so much for the time and good luck this season. Hey, thanks for having us. Thanks for all you do for the SAC and, and for men's basketball. Yeah, thank you. We appreciate you. Absolutely. Down in Plainville, Texas, it's our great friends at Wayland Baptist, their head men's basketball coach, Clint Gallion, and his outstanding student athlete and basketball player, Quentin Coleman. And he's a good one. Make sure you keep an eye on him this year. They're going to be a lot of fun to watch. When we come back, we'll continue to talk to our great coaches and also our student athletes here on the 2024 Sooner Athletic Conference Men's Basketball Media Day.